What's going on guys? It's Emil here and today I'm trying out something new that I've wanted to do for a while since I've been playing custom tracks again. And the new CTGP update just came out so I figured I wanted to get good at the new tracks. And if you guys remember the old Troy vs custom track series, he would just play through the tracks regularly and try to beat the expert staff ghost. I'm essentially going to do the same thing, but the twist is I'm going to be using Daisy on the mock bike because that is the combination that I am using for online gameplay. So just like those videos, I'm going to go ahead and play through the track once against this easy staff ghost here. Once we unlock the expert staff ghost, we're going to go ahead and try to beat that. I'm sure that this one is going to be a challenge. I'll try to keep these to maybe one track per update, but if you guys want to see more of this type of thing for each update, I can maybe do two or three other tracks in this update. But with that being said for now, we're going to go ahead and boot up one run of Volcanic Skyway here against a 357 by Bento, and let's do it. Now, I believe I mentioned in the update or in the update video itself, but Volcanic Skyway was the track that I was looking forward to the most. And I loved all the old versions of Volcanic Skyway back when they were all still in the pack and before this update came out. And I'm really excited to see how this one plays. I haven't had the chance to play it online yet, and I can't play it in like league matches yet because all the new tracks are actually banned for the rest of the season because it might give some people an unfair advantage if they learn them before others. Now, I wonder if I can... Can I make this? Okay, that's really easy. I thought that was going to be harder. Because the way I was doing shortcut before was going off of that last mushroom. I didn't know if it was, like, really hard or if I just if I was just, like, over-exaggerating it. But the first run I'm doing here is just to get an idea of how hard each part of the track is actually going to be. I don't expect, like, too many challenges with this one because, like, I'm already really familiar with this layout from a couple of years ago. So, okay, maybe that'll be a little bit more difficult than I thought now. So, I, the bottom route is actually faster because A, you're getting a lower trick, and B, you're actually, like, getting a double flip trick instead of a single flip trick on the top route that you just saw. And the reason that matters so much is because of the timing of the boost after you land. Like, I don't know if you're able to tell between that first ramp and the last ramp, but the one from that first ramp was actually a decent bit longer than the last ramp. Now, the reason why I chose this track in particular for this update was because I have heard, because they release videos showing all the expert staff goes before the update actually comes out. And from what I've gathered from like my sources, just watching through the expert staff ghost myself, I believe that this one might be the hardest staff ghost in this update. And that's one of the main things I want to do with this like new video idea, is just challenge myself on these really difficult tracks. Well, not that the tracks themselves might be too difficult, but like the ghosts will be difficult. Now, I think I have to hop earlier to make it down here. Yeah, see, now I'm able to make it down here just fine. And then you can see this double flip trick, and once I get this boost, it should carry me into the next lap. 105.4, okay. So this run's pretty average right now. I don't know like what exactly my standard is gonna have to be for the expert staff boost, but I'm sure I'm in for a treat because even though I did watch the Expert Staff Ghost, I actually have no idea what the time for it is. So, either I'm going to be in for a very rude awakening, or I might be a little more surprised than I expected. But that wall hit on lap one definitely didn't help. So I should be able to make this right here. Yeah, that's really, really easy. I, I don't know why I struggled with that initially. And I also don't know if it's faster to hold like down there or just like land sooner and then be at wheelie speed i feel like it's faster to be in the air since you're at a higher speed for longer uh that didn't feel very good and that landing really was kind of bad so let's see what time we end up finishing with here and we'll see if i'm okay well that definitely doesn't help so let's see how far behind i am of this expert staff goes here once we finish up here i think this is going to be sub 320 no it's not a 320.527. Alright. So, not the best run in the world. Not the worst run in the world. Wow, okay, lap 1 and 3 were really close since they both had, like, a weird wall hit. That's pretty, that's pretty funny, actually. Well, let's go ahead and see what the expert staff ghost is. As we can see, a fast staff ghost has appeared. And let's see how much of a challenge I'm in for. 
So of course we are indeed slower than the expert staff ghost. So from a 320, I have to improve down to a a 315.588. Now that lap two was the best lap of the run that I just had, and that was like a 105.4 or something. And if that's the case, I can't hit that lap three times and beat this. So I'm going to go ahead and watch this real quick and see if there's any like really different strategies or just driving approaches that I need to be aware of. All right, let's go ahead and see what Altina does here. And one of the main things I'm worried about with this staff ghost is that it uses dry Bowser, which is, I mean, any flame runner is already going to be pretty fast, but dry Bowser goes 95.4 here, which is very close and I think barely faster than Daisy so we'll see if there's like any major driving differences I think so far it looks pretty identical to what I was trying to do maybe there might be some optimization on the shortcut we'll see what that looks like up here I can't imagine too much is that the case no it's yeah literally the same thing that I was going for earlier and then does he le yeah it just leans back until you get all the way back here and then Okay, this is slightly different. So he goes for the MT before the ramp and does a drift trick. Where does he land on this ramp? Okay, he lands decently far. Okay, a drift trick to get nice low air. Bounce landing, that's a little bit of time gain potential for me. And yeah, let's see how he does this. Does he just hop down? Yeah, just directly in line there. Okay, left to right on that ramp instead of right to left. There's a little bit more wiggle room on like this beginning part than I thought. I thought for sure it was going to be very restricting, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Then on lap two, okay. So it looks like you don't want to do a mini turbo. You just want to do two wheelies there instead of any sort of drifting. Okay, I think this ghost makes sense. I'm, I'm in for a rude awakening, surely, but let's see how much we're about to struggle with this ghost. The only other thing that I genuinely wonder about this is how like good I'm gonna have to beat you with this. Okay, really? Okay, as I was saying, I don't know how good I really have to be with this because I did try this in a previous update. And from what when I did that, I had there were some tracks that I really, really struggled with. But others that were just like really easy. Uh okay, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know why I didn't get a smooth landing there. Alright, we're aiming for a proper beginning. Can we make it to the cannon? Oh, that's a bad beginning. Oh wait, we're ahead of the ghost. Let's go. Uh, how'd I get a bounce landing, dude? Ooh, I don't know if, like how much better that turn is than the one that I took. Okay, not a bad start. Wow, he just has a direct line into that. I really shouldn't be restarting as much as I am right now, but like, I just really want to get that run. So it just, I feel like it makes sense for me to be restarting this much. Especially considering the first one I had, like, even with like the fixed mistakes, it wouldn't have been that close. Okay, that turn is one of my keys to success. There we go. Whoa. What? Are you kidding me? How am I off? Did I just hit this? No. How how was I off there? That's insane. I cannot believe that failed. That was nuts. That, that didn't feel fair. You know, whatever. I'll just kill. Oh, that was really nice, actually. I didn't think that was going to work. Okay. That is going to be so hard to remember. So maybe I have to be... I have to land a little bit further to the right. And that way I won't run into that corner. So I can take a sharper turn and then avoid that part. I'm going to try starting this MT earlier. Maybe that will help me. Okay, that helped a little bit. Um... Okay, there we go. Oh, that, he got a better turn there. So I have to be a little bit wider to get an optimal turn. Okay, this should be a good angle. Oh, uh, no. Am I off? I'm off. Oh, I don't know why my wheelie didn't come out. Alright, come on. 
We've gotten, we've gotten to the cannon now, and we've made it to the shortcut. So all that's left to do is to actually make the shortcut, and then do all of that again three times. Oh, this might be bad, actually. Actually, no. Oh, that's way easier to take than I thought. Okay. That, that's good. Okay, the mini turbo advantage might be at my advantage. Okay, was that a better shortcut? I think it was. I uh, don't know about this angle. Oh, that felt weird. Okay, we're slightly ahead. Oh, okay. So I need to be a little bit wider if I want to insta, insta wheelie there. But, oh, that was a really good start. Okay, that's a good, you know, a good first two seconds. That's also good. Okay. Nice. Basically tied into the cannon. I think this is the right alignment. Yeah, barely so. Nice. Ah, oh, I didn't get the timing. Yeah, so if you, when you land, I'm out. I'm off. What? Okay, good beginning. I think I have a good idea of how that beginning works now. Oh, this is risky. I think I have to rehop there. That's a really good cut. And I got the timing right that time. And I get a way better cut as a result of that. I'm not getting a proper drift trick though. This is a really good start. You might just be ahead now. I have to be careful about that wheelie timing. And I have to hop early here. There it is. Alright, cool. Alright, how far are we ahead? Okay, point one ahead. Not as much as I would have liked, but I'll take it. Alright. Nice. Oh, uh, that cannon entrance felt a little shaky. I think I might have lost my lead a little bit. Actually, it's about the same. Okay, th dude. Am I making that? Oh my gosh, I thought I was failing. But I have to lose a little bit of time on this shortcut. That was a better drift trick than lap one. Uh, is this good? I think it is. Oh, the ghost is so close to me though. Alright, this is still good. Actually, I think Daisy and Dry Bowser are the same wheelie speed, 95.4. I'd be surprised if they're actually different. Okay, we gained a tiny bit there, but not much. Oh, where's the fire pillar going to be? Alright. Alright, first time on lap 3. Let's see if we can just secure it here. It's gonna be a lot easier than I thought if I actually secure this right now. I literally just have to make this. Yep, it's too easy, baby. Oh, hello. Wait. Oh! Okay! That lost a lot of time. Can I not? Oh, no! I choked. I choked it. I actually choked it. No way. Wait, can I, ca can I catch up from this? Wait, maybe I can. Hold on. No! Dude, I had to say something, didn't I? Oh my gosh. Alright, let's go. A pretty good idea of how good I have to be to actually beat this. Which isn't that good, actually. I thought this was going to be a lot harder from what I had heard about this ghost. But it seems like 
Dry Bowser and Daisy. Pretty close in speed, and the driving isn't too excellent. So, I definitely have a good chance of just, like, being able to get this. Oh, let's go. I'm feeling pretty good about this now. I think if we get to lap three next time, we're just going to be good. But I don't know what happened to me on that cut. Okay, nice burnout, dude. I got to be really careful with these wheelie timings. I just got to wait until, like, I press the accelerator on two because it feels like something's going on like i don't know why but like if i try to do more wheelie turns if i do something at the same time as i press that a button i never get that timing right i don't know why but i can do everything up until that moment like watch this i just need to make sure that whenever i'm doing the countdown i'm only focused on that part like when it gets to that part of the countdown, I need to be fully focused on the timing. Otherwise, I'm just not going to get it. I've noticed that so much over the years. It's a weird thing, but I don't I don't know why that happens. I think the weird thing about this lap one beginning is that the transition from this town road into the off-road has some, like, elevation to it. So if I hop at the wrong time, I'm going to get, like, a little bounce, and that throws me off so much. Oh, uh, that what is that? No, nah, hold on. What was that? This wall right? That is insane. Okay, good beginning. I thought I was gonna hit the pokey. I won't even lie to you guys. Okay, that would have been insane if I was off the track again. Oh, there's a little bit more like room for error on that turn than I thought. Okay. This turn feels a little bit weird though. Okay, I don't know if like landing at this earlier part makes enough of a difference. Oh, wait a minute. It's the part of the mushroom that I'm hitting. I don't know if you guys noticed that because I'm going a little bit towards the middle and I'm consistently getting lower air than the ghost. Huh. So I definitely want to be a little bit closer to the, um, to the left side of it. Or maybe even like, okay, I don't want to be to the far right. That's just stressful. But if I want to have a good line, then I want to be far left and then just hold back as much as possible. That way, things will go decently well. Oh, that was kind of bad. And, ah, uh, no proper drift trick. This might already be over. Okay, that's a very weird turn compared to the others. Because, like, I was getting thrown off by the track for just barely clipping that corner. But then that turn before the cannon, I can just do whatever. Okay, that was bad. All right, let's go. I got a good feeling about this one. Oh, I almost regretted that immediately. Okay, that was pretty bad, but I can keep going with this. Okay, I, I got to take that turn pretty similarly to the way the ghost does it. Otherwise, I'm just going to lose. <sighs> Man. I swear, like, literally making it to the lap one shortcut feels like the hardest part right now. And I'm not off? What? How am I not off there? Make it make sense, game. Or even the track authors. I feel like this doesn't really happen on other tracks. It feels like this is the first time I'm seeing something like this. That was really good. So I want to be, like, over here. And now I'm getting higher air. That was really good, yeah. That mini turbo stat is so helpful for me. Uh. Oh, that could have been better. But I still gained some time, surprisingly. Oh, is this going to be good? I think I top really early. Okay, that worked out just fine. I thought that was going to be a little bit trickier. What is that bounce? What? Oh, I didn't, realize, I, I didn't even realize he was rehopping. Oh, why am I so bad? Okay. Wow, that was really good. I did not think that was going to work. I actually thought I was going to fall off there. Oh, that's really bad. Oh, I saved it somehow. Dude, this is getting so uncomfortable. I think that's a good spot to hit it. Oh, I better not be off. 
Okay, good. I land so much later than him at that part. Like, I don't know why. Oh, that's really good, actually. That was awesome. That just saved a decent bit of time, actually. Nice. Okay, we might have a decent lead into lap three. As long as they don't bounce land here. Let's go. Okay. Oh, that was a pretty good lap. 105. Almost a 104. Oh, what was that? Why do I keep choking as soon as I get to lap three? Oh my gosh, this is going to be intense. Oh no! I okay, this might be over. Actually, hold on. Right there. Right there. Oh, that was really good. Okay. Oh no! Oh, that's too much air. I'm over the ramp. No, I'm not. Okay. No, the pounce. I can do this. Oh, come on. No, no. Dude, I choked again. Oh my gosh. That lap two was actually so good. Lap 1 felt average, but okay. Dude, I'm literally going to get this the next finished run. 100%. Nah, we we, we got to keep going. I'm literally going to get this soon. Yeah, I'm, I was so worried about getting thrown off by the corner there, but it looks like it's be, it looks like it's pretty nice. So I don't have to worry too much about that. But this is a really good alignment, actually. Okay, can I get a fast mini turbo release? Oh, I have to press wheelie a little bit sooner. Okay, so I don't know if you guys are noticing this, but I'm turning just just as I'm getting launched off the mushroom. And that's actually giving me more air time as well. That's like one thing I've never really understood, but it just sort of like happens on its own now, if that makes sense. That might not make sense at all, but you know what? It's whatever. Oh, this is really bad, actually. Actually, no, we're still ahead. I didn't realize how much time. Okay, not again, dude. Oh, was I that close to the ghost last time? Huh. Okay, way better ramp this time. Okay, that could have been a little bit better, but this is alright. That's. Is that a good alignment? Barely. Wow. I don't know. I think I was getting that many turbo. <gasps> oh my. How did that work? Wait, am I off? No, I'm not. Okay. That. None of that should have worked. That is insane that that was allowed to work. Uh, the ghost is right there, but we're still ahead. That's what matters. Oh, uh, no! Wow, what was that? That was so much like... That Like that wasn't even a micro bounce. That was like a, like a, a bounce landing from a ramp. That was terrible. But we're somehow still ahead into the... Into the cannon. <laughs> Why do I say anything? Alright. Let's get it. This is the time. Ugh. Okay, somehow I didn't hit the off-road there. So maybe, maybe I just have the understanding of that hitbox wrong. Okay, that was good. So I think if I just, I think I'm able to nosedive fully there. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. Alright. Nice MT release. Oh man, that could have been really good. Oh, bounce landing as well. Okay. Oh gosh, am I gonna be ahead after this ramp? Barely. 
Okay, that's good. That should be a good alignment. Nice. Okay. That was good. Yeah, that was really good. Alright, just two more laps of epicness. Why do I keep hitting the dirt? Okay. Wow, he gained so much time right there. Did I really go that wide? Dude, that was horrible then. Okay, I remember that turn for him was really bad before the shortcut lap too. I'm cutting it really close with these shortcuts, I feel like. But I'm also, like, not getting the frame one wheelie when I land. Like, if you're not able to notice, guys, like, if you look at the speedometer when I landed from that, I was actually dropping back down to, like, 85. What? No way that just happened. Wow. Wait, I'm right there still. Okay. That lost a lot of time, but not nearly as much as I thought. Okay, I need to clutch up lap three. Well, that was kind of bad. And a bounce landing. Oh, no. Okay, I need an insanely clutch lap here to get it. Okay, where's the fire pillar? Oh, that's where it is. Uh, can I even beat this? I need an insane lap. Uh, I'm kind of close to it, though. Another bounce landing doesn't help, though. Oh, man. That's really good. And I got the frame one wheelie that time. I might catch it to the ghost right here. Yeah, I did. Uh, okay, I can work with this. And the extra air from the ramp is going to give me a really good spot. Okay. All I have to do is just not die. Okay, come on. Go? Yes! Let's go, baby! That was way closer than I thought it was gonna be. I won't even lie. Yep, 104.8 lap 3. That's that's the type of lap 3 I really needed. Wow, lap 2 was so bad. I don't know how I didn't get the moon jump lap 2, but... Or lap, yeah, lap 2, but... Jeez, dude. How much did I beat that by? That was, like, an insanely small amount, no? So yeah, Staff Ghost was a 588, and we got a 5. Okay, that was a little bit more than I thought. I don't know why I thought it was like a low 5 and we just barely beat it. No, we beat it by like, yeah, 80 milliseconds. You know, I'll take that. That's honestly pretty good. But yeah, anyway, that's that's all I've got for today's video. I mean, this took a lot less time than I thought. It only took me like 35 minutes from the first attempts of the track. So I will happily take that. If you guys enjoyed this type of video, let me know. If you guys have another track from this last CTGP update that you want to see me do like this sort of thing on again, let me know down in the comments down below. If I see enough of one track down in those comments, I'll consider doing it. So y'all better leave some comments down below for me. Anyway, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.